Now let's solve question number 67. It states that if the price of sugar increases by 20% and Vaibhav intends to spend only additional 10% on sugar, then by how much percent will he reduce the quantity of sugar purchased? So here we have these four options given. Let's solve this question. In this case, let's consider that the price of sugar per kg price of sugar per kg is rupees 100 earlier and then it is increasing to 20 percent as 120 per kg and the quantity of sugar purchased earlier was let's suppose x and now it is y so in this case total cost is clearly 100 x and here the total cost is 120 y now he intends to spend only 10 percent additional so now he is spending 120y which is clearly 110 percent of original cost that is 100x so when you simplify this this will help you out to obtain the value of x upon y which is clearly 12 upon 11 as x upon y is 12 upon 11 so you can consider x to be 12k and y to be 11k in terms of the ratio and using that we can clearly see that original quantity was more than the new quantity so definitely there is decrease and here the decrease percent will be given by 12 minus 11 upon 12 into 100 which is simplified to the value 8 1 upon 3 that is 25 upon 3 percent so this is the decrease percentage in the quantity of sugar bought so out of these four options you can clearly mark your answer answer is here in option number one you can definitely mark the answer to be option one i hope it is clear to you let's take up our next question here i have question number 68 which states that in a three digit number hundreds digit is two more than tens digit and tens digit is one third of units digit if the units digit be z then the number is out of these four options so as we are talking about a three digit number it's been clearly mentioned that here we have the unit digit as z so i have units digit as z Next, talking about tens digit. Here, it's given that tens digit is one third of units digit, that is z upon three, and hundreds digit. And the hundreds digit is two more than tens digit, that is z upon three plus two. So this is tens, hundreds, and units digit. Let's write it as per the place value. If I talk about the three digit number, here the three digit number will be given by hundreds digit that is z upon three plus two into hundred. Next tens digit which is z upon three into ten plus units digit which is z. Let's simplify this one on simplification you will obtain this as 200 plus I have 100 z upon 3 then I have 10 z upon 3 next I have z which simplifies to the value 113 z upon 3. So this is the required three digit number. So out of the four options given to us you can clearly find the answer is here in option number 3. You can mark here the required answer is 200 plus 113 z upon 3 you can write answer for this question is option 3. I hope it's clear to you. Let's take up our next question. Let's take up now question number 69. It states that in a 5 digit number which is 24 y x 9 x is the greatest single digit perfect cube and what is that greatest single digit perfect cube? It's 8 and x exceeds twice of y by 2 using this you can obtain y then further it states the difference of the number and its cube root is out of these four options. Let's solve this. Very first as you know the greatest single digit perfect cube is 8 so x is 8 and it's given that x exceeds twice of y by 2 so x is equal to 2y plus 2. On solving this you can definitely get the value of y. 
if you substitute x as 8, 8 minus 2 it is 6, it gives you the value of y as 3. Now, x is 8, y is 3. Given 5 digit number, given 5 digit number is clearly 24389. So, this is the number. If I obtain cube root of 24389, its cube root is 29 as it is cube of 29. Next, I need to obtain here the difference of the number and its cube root. So, if I talk about the given number, this is 24389, from that you subtract its cube root, you get 24360. So, this is the required answer for this question. So, out of these four options, you can clearly find in option number 4, we have the number 24360. So, here the answer is given by option 4. I hope it is clear. Let us take up our next question. Here I have the question which states in the given number line, which of the following is true? So, here this is your given number line where we have this number P, Q and R and these four options are provided. You need to verify each of these options and check which one of these is true. So, very first let us obtain the number p. Here number p lies between minus 2 and minus 3 and here are 6 divisions. So, p is basically minus 2 and half that is minus 5 upon 2. Next, here q lies between 0 and 1 and here also we have these divisions. So, this is clearly 1 upon 2. Here number r lies between 3 and 4. Here also we have 6 division, this is 3 and half given by 7 upon 2. So, here this is 7 by 2. Now, we need to check each of these 4 options and figure out the correct one. So, talking about the first option, this is r minus q plus p, it is provided that it is less than 0. When you take r, that is 7 by 2, 7 by 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 5 by 2, this simplifies to the value 1 by 2. So, this is not less than 0. So, this option is totally incorrect here. This value simplifies to 1 and it is not less than 0. Talking about r upon q, here r is 7 by 2, q is 1 by 2. Here 7 upon 2 upon 1 by 2, it reduces to the value 7. 7 is not less than 1. So, this is also incorrect. Talking about minus p upon q, minus p is 5 by 2 upon q, this is 1 by 2, this reduces to the value 5. 5 is not less than 0, so this is also incorrect. Here when we talk about minus r, is it less than p? Here minus r is minus 7 by 2 and p is here minus 5 by 2. It is quite obvious minus 7 by 2 is less than minus 5 by 2. That means here we have got the correct option out of these four options. You can definitely mark the answer for this question is option 4. I hope this question is clear to you. So, we have come to an end to the discussion of mathematics part of ANTHE 2019 code 8A paper of class 8th. I hope you have very well understood all the solutions and you score really good marks in ANTH exam. All the best for your results. Thank you for watching.